Okay, so once again, uh, good morning everyone and thank you for attending our class. So again, this uh, presentation, uh, this discussion is recorded for the purpose of those who are not able to attend, they could be able to uh, watch no, this video in my YouTube account. So if you have some privacy concern, no, you are always encouraged to turn off your camera. Okay, uh, now. So the topic for today is about file management. Of course, file management is very important, no, especially uh, in our field, no, because we look into the file in the file system, the file structure, the file management system, no, the file organization in access, no, B trees, file directories, file sharing is also important, no, especially right now in the in the mobile, no, there is a uh, file sharing, no. Uh, we have also record blocking, secondary storage management, file security, uh, system, system security, uh, and we look into the Unix file management, Linux file management, Windows file management, and so on. So the learning, the intended learning outcomes of this uh, topic, you no, know, focus on uh, the following, no, so. After this lesson, you should be able to understand and to describe the basic concept of file and file system. You, you may be able to understand the principal techniques for the file organization and access. No? Define B-trees, explain file directories, understand all the, the requirements for file sharing, uh, the concept of record blocking, no? and describe the principal design issues for secondary storage uh, management. Understand the design issues for file system security. And of course, you could able to explain the OS file system used in Linux, Unix, and in Windows. Again, in most applications, the file is the central element, right? Now, uh, with the exception of real-time application and some other specialized application, okay, uh, the input to the application is by means of file and in virtually all applications. Output is saved in a file for long-term storage and for later access or later access by the user and by the, the other program. So even uh, all the installed software, uh, uh, files have a life outside of an individual application that uses them for input and or output. So user wish to be able to access files, save them, and maintain the integrity of their documents or contents. So to aid in these objectives, virtually all operating systems provide file management system. And typically, uh, a file management system consists of system utility program. No? Uh, you are familiar with that. No? That runs as privileged applications. However, at the very least, a file management system needs special services from the operating system. At the most, the entire file management system is considered part of the operating system. Thus, it is appropriate to consider the basic elements of file management, okay? And uh, of course, we need to look into various file organization schemes. Although uh, file organization is generally beyond the scope of the operating system, it is essential no, to have a general understanding of the common alternatives to appreciate <coughs> some of the design trade-offs involved in the file management. Now, the remainders of this lesson looks at the other topic related actually to file management. <clears throat> so later on, our presenter uh, will be able to discuss the long-term existence, the shareable between processes, the structure, the way on how we'll be able to create, delete, open, close, read, and write in our uh, computer or even our uh, in our, our in our laptops or even in cell phone or our mobile phone. Okay, to give us more details about the topic, let us all welcome our presenter. It is a type of software that manages the files in a computer system. A file management system has limited capabilities and is designed to manage individual or groups files, such as special office documents and records that may display for events like owner, creation date, state of completion, and similar features, usefully of this environment. 
A fine management system is also known as a fine manager. Origin of the term. For the advent of computer, the term file system was used to describe a method by storing or retrieving paper documents. By 1961, the term was being applied by computerized filing alongside the original name. By 1964, it was in general use. File management function and operating system. First, file attributes. It specifies the characteristic of the file such as the type, date, the modification, size, location, and this, etc. File attributes help the user to understand the value and location of the files. Also, file attribute is one of the most important features. It is used to describe all the information regarding particular file. Next is file operation. It specifies the tasks that can be performed in the file such as opening and closing of file. Second, file access permission. It specifies the access permission related to a file such as read and write. Next, file system. It specifies the logic method of file storage in a computer system. So, of the, some of the commonly used file system include FAT and A. NTFS. File management tools. File management tools are utility software that manage files of the computer system. Since files are an important part of the system, as all the data is stored in the file. Therefore, its utility software helps to both search, arrange, find information, and quickly review the files in system. A utility software or system utility is a type of system software that helps in the proper and smooth functioning of the computer system. Moreover, they assist the operating system to ma to manage, organize, maintain, and optimize the functioning of a computer system. A file management system has a limited amount of capabilities. Furthermore, they, they work on files or a group of files. We can also call them file manager. Windows Explo Explorer is a default file management tool present in a system. And function of the file management system and store, arrange, or access the files on a disk or other storage location. Creating new files, displaying the old files, adding and editing the data in file, moving files from one location to another, sorting files according to the given criteria, for example, file size, file location, modified date, creation date, etc. Figure of file management, arranging the files and folders, record generator, generation, notes, status, assigning documents for processing in a key. Add or edit metadata of files, create, modify, delete, or manage other files in the operation. Simple is set up to access and manage files. Managing different types of files with extension XLS, PDF, document, and etc. That's all. Thank you. Okay, so again, no, uh, there are four terms are in common use 
when discussing uh, files. No? Uh, I think you, all of you are familiar with field, record, file, and database. No? A field is the basic elements of the data. No? An individual fields contain a single value such as employee last name, a date of the value of a sensor reading. No? It's characterized, of course, by length and data type, no? the ASCII string, uh, the decimal. So depending on the file's design, no? fields may be fixed length or variable length. No? In, in the latter case, no, the field open consists of two or three subfields. No? The actual value of stored, the name of the fields, the length of the field is indicated by the use of special uh, demarcation symbols between fields. So when we say records, no, I think everyone are very much familiar with this, no, because a record is a collection of related fields that can be treated as a unit by some application program. Let's say, for example, a student record would contain such fields as name, no, a student number, a section, uh, Enro enrollment date, and so on. Again, depending on design, records may be fixed length or variable length. No? A record will be available length if some of its fields are of variable length or if the number of fields may vary. <laughs> so in the latter case, no, its field is usually accompanied by the field name. No? In, the, uh, in either case, the entire record usually includes a length field. No? <laughs> So when we say file, no, it is a collection of similar similar records. No? Let's say, for example, your uh, operating system grades. So that is one file. No? The file is treated as a single entity by users and applications and maybe a reference by name. No? Uh, let's say, for example, CS403 uh, Section B grade sheet. No? Then, of course, uh, some file systems are structured only in terms of field not record. So in that case, file is a collection of fields. No? On the other hand, no, we have a database. No? That's a collection of related data naman or files. No? The essential aspect of a database are that the relationship that exists among elements of data are explicit and that the contain all the information related to an organization or project such as business or a scientific study. Because the database itself consists of one or more types of files. Usually, uh, there is a separate database management system that is independent of the operating system, although that system uh, may make use of some file management programs. No? <clears throat> Usually, or users in applications which wish to make use of files. No? Typically, operation that must be supported include retrieve all, no? you are familiar with your database subject, retrieve one, retrieve next, retrieve previous, insert one, delete one, update one, retrieve few. No? <clears throat> because the nature of the operation that are com most commonly performed on a file will influence the way the file is organized. No? <clears throat> it should be noted that not all file system exhibit the sort of structure no? on Unix and that Unix like systems, the basic file structure is just a stream of bytes. No? Let's say for example, in a C programming, no, it's a program, it's stored as file, but does not have physical fields, records and so on. <coughs> so <coughs> excuse. the file management system is that a set of system software that provides services to users and applications in the user of files. Typically, the only way that a user or application may access files is through the file management system. And this re relieves the user or programmer of the necessity of developing special purpose <coughs> uh, software for each application and provides the system with a consistent, well-defined uh, means no, of controlling its most important asset suggests actually we have a different uh, or a lot of objectives no for a file management system <clears throat> so number one of course to meet the data management needs and requirements of the user uh, to guarantee the extent possible no to optimize performance no? to improve input output support to minimize and eliminate the potential for loss of the or destroyed data, to provide the standardized input output no uh, interface routines no and to provide input output support for multiple users. So, 
the objectives and requirements should be kept in mind throughout our, of course the file system management no so you are familiar with device driver right right let's say for example at present actually we have a lot of devices that that is auto connect no ot auto uh, auto installed no but previously no, we were still using device driver no uh, because uh, doing that we could able to consider the basic input output supervisor the basic uh, logic input output the access method it must be considered no so <clears throat> another thing of course is that there are several criteria no for file organization and access number one short access time ease of update economy of storage simple uh, maintenance and reliability no as of today especially no not only with our mobile phone but even in laptop and computers there's a automatically uh, automatic update no uh, you will be able to actually to schedule the update or you just simply uh, say later or right now no just in one touch no that you could be able to update your software but it's just for licensed software right but it, if it is uh, unlicensed, no? so there are certain, uh, if you wanted to update that, no? there are certain problems sometimes. No? The, the sequential file, uh, the most common form of it or, or file structure is the, is the sequential file. No? In this type of file, a fixed format is used for records. No? All records are the knee, are the are of the same length, it's consisting the same number of fixed length fields in a particular order. Because the length and the position of each field are known. Only the values of field needs to be stored. And the field name and length for each field are attributes of the file structure. Okay. So we have also what we call the index sequential file. No? <coughs> Uh, when it comes to B3, no note with uh, K children, no. So B3 is no or the binary trees. The preceding records referred to the use of the index file to access individual records in a file or database. That's why uh, you you are required to develop your own ERD, no, the entity relationship diagram. So for a larger file or database, a single sequential file of indexes on the primary key does not provide for rapid access. So to provide more efficient access, a structured index file is typically used. So the simplest such structure is a two-level organization in which the original file is broken into sections and the upper level consists of the sequence set of pointers to the lower level section. So this structure actually can uh, then be extended to more than two levels, resulting in a tree structure. No? The typically three, no, parang family three. <clears throat> so unless some uh, discipline is imposed on a construction of the three index, it is likely to tend to end up, no, with an even structure with some sort branches and some long branches, so that the time to search the index is uneven. So therefore, a balanced tree structure with all branches of four equal length would appear to give the best average performance. Such as a structure is the B three, which has become the standard methods or average performance no? uh, such as uh, structure uh, is the b3 uh, which has become the standard method of organizing indexes for databases and is commonly used in operating system file system including those supported by the mac os 10 no, windows and some several linux file system because the b3 structure provides for efficient searching adding and deleting of items that's why it's very important for us to understand the b3 or binary tree <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> another thing that we need to consider is the structure no so the way on how we store the data no? because the simplest form of a structure for directory is that of a list of entries, one for each file. So this structure could be represented by a simple sequential file with the name of the file serving as the key. <clears throat> no, actually in our uh, computer, no, you could be able to set your files like by type. No, uh, what else? Either by type, by date modified, by name or by size. But most commonly, it will uh, reflected as by name. No. 
But if you wanted to look into the latest open files or edited files, you just simply choose date modified. No? Or even uh, when you download, the date when you download. Okay. So again, the requirements for a file structure is helpful to consider the types of operation that may be performed on a directory. <clears throat> so it's easy for us to search, to create a file, to delete a file, to list the, the, the directory, no? and to update the directory at the same time. <clears throat> the file sharing. No? So file sharing in a multiple user system, no? there is almost always a requirement for allowing files to be shared among other or number of users. So two issues arise, the access rights and the management of simultaneous access. So when you say access right, which is too important, the file system should provide a flexible tool for allowing extensive file sharing among, among users. No? So the file system should provide a number of options so that the way in which a particular file is accessed can be controlled. And typically, users or group of users are granted certain access rights to a file. So a wide range of access rights has been used. So the, uh, we need to consider, of course, some list of representative of access rights that can be assigned to a particular user for a particular file, like the name, the knowledge, the execution, the reading, the appending, the updating, changing protection, and deletions. Okay. For the record blocking, no, we have what we call fixed blocking, uh, va variable length spanning blocking, and variable length unspanning blocking. Uh, for the secondary memory, no, uh, storage ma uh, management, let's say, for example, our flash drive, no, before CD, no, or because on secondary storage, a file consists of a collection of blocks. No, the operating system or file management system is responsible for allocating blocks to files. So this raises two management issues. First, of course, is the space on secondary storage must be allocated to files, and well, second, necessary to keep track of the space is available for allocations. No? So for file allocation, we have some several issues are involved in the file allocation. We have also the pre-allocation versus dynamic allocations. No? Uh, the portion size, considering the variable, large contiguous portion, and the blocks. Uh, another thing that... Uh, we need to be concerned with the fragmentation of free space. No, the issue was space when the consider uh, when we considered uh, partitions main memory. No, uh, we have uh, in our chapter seven actually. No, uh, our presenter mentioned about the first fit, best fit, and the nearest fit. <coughs> Excuse. Now. Uh, we need to consider, of course, the reliability no? uh, of our operating system, always. <clears throat> I think everybody are also familiar with file allocation, directories. No? Most commonly, uh, we have drive C no? or drive D. No? Let's say, for example, if you inserted your uh, flash drive, no? there is a thing that has uh, F. No? Drive F. So it depends actually to the available uh, drive in your computer or laptop. <clears throat> when it comes to Linux virtual file system concept, no, uh, the BFS is an object-oriented uh, scheme because it is written the C rather than a language that support object-oriented, such as C, C++, or Java. So the virtual file system in Linux, no. Our uh, objects are implemented simply as C data structure and object contains both data and pointers to file system implemented function. So each object contains uh, both data and pointers to file system implementation functions that operate on data. So the four primary object types is the super block object, inode object, you know, the entry object, and the file object. And I don't know if you've heard already the super block object also available in Linux. No? Uh, 
when it comes to windows no i think uh the developers of windows nt if you still remember no design a new file system the new technology when we say windows nt that is windows new technology no new technology file system or ntfs which is uh intended to meet high end in requirements for work station and servers no example of high end applications include the client server applications such as file servers computer server or computer servers and database servers no? uh, again another thing is the resource in intensive engineering and scientific applications network applications for large corporate system <clears throat> the key features actually of the uh, new technology file system or the NTFS is the recovery uh, recoverability no the security the large disk and large files and multiple data streams journaling comprehension uh, compression and encryption and the last is hard and symbolic link <clears throat> so the NTFS volume in file structure cover the this storage concept for the sector cluster and vectors uh, and uh, volume rather so if you still remember your uh, microsoft uh, operating system or the mm dos the ms dos no? the microsoft uh, disk operating system no there are certain applications wherein you could able to use some uh, sector cluster volume and others <clears throat> so for sector per cluster let's say for example of eight that is two gigabyte to four gigabyte no for 64 that is 16 gigabyte to 32 gigabyte and so on so it depends upon to the volume size sector per cluster and cluster size <clears throat> so what else <clears throat> again uh to sum up the discussion of this topic because it is very important actually especially you are a, a bs computer science student now uh, a file management system is a set of system software that provides services to users and application in the user use of files including file access directory management and access control the file management system is typically viewed as a system service that itself is uh, it serves by the operating system rather than being part of the operating system itself However, in any system, at least part of the file management function is performed with the operating system. A file consists of a collection of records. No? The way in which these records may be accessed determines its logical organizations and to some extent its physical organization on this. If a file is primarily to be processed as a whole, then a sequential file organization is the simplest and most appropriate. So if sequential access is needed, both but random access to individual file is also desired, then an index sequential file may give the best performance. But if the access to the file is principally at random, then an index file or hash file may be the most appropriate. So whatever file structure is chosen, a directory service is also needed. And this allows files to be organized in a hierarchical fashion. And this organization is useful to the user in keeping track of files and is useful to the file management system and providing access control and other services to users. The file records, even when a fixed size, generally to, do not conform to the size of a physical disk block. Accordingly, some sort of blocking strategy is needed. So a trade-off among complexity, performance, and space utilization determines the blocking strategy to be used. So a key function of any file management scheme is the management of this space. And part of this function is the strategy for allocating these blocks of a file. So a variety of methods had been employed. A variety of data structure had been used to keep track of the allocation for each file. In addition to that, the space on this that has not been allocated must be managed. No, the latter and and this latter functions primarily consists of maintaining a disk allocation table indicating which blocks are free. So I think that's it for this topic.